Okay, for the absolute last time, I would like to actually show how to do speedrunning on Linux without having some problem, <laughs> such as the last one I attempted to make, having the exact same volume as my mic and therefore being impossible to hear. Uh, okay, first things first, I'm going to demonstrate the uh, live split, global hotkeys, and auto splitter. Uh, launch game. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to... So not not Steam. Also, I don't need Redshift open. It's perfectly fine having blue light in my eyes right now. Uh, we're gonna go into Live Splits folder. Open a terminal here. Uh, let me minimize. Oh my God, my brain is exploding, and I'm going to die. Uh, okay. And we're going to do Proton. I said Proton. Tricks dash. I cannot type hold but launch uh dash dash no dash b wrap uh you can do either dash dash app id and then the id for the game for red faction it's 2530 i'm going to not do that just so you can see the gui uh dot slash live split dot exe okay go to your game so that one, make sure it is the exact same game, not like it, if it's a demo and it has a different ID, make sure it's on the demo and not the full game and so on. You get the drill. My split is now open. I'll put it over here uh, just to show that this is the same as the, this. I think that's where my mouse is. Uh, if I hit that, there you go. In fact, that's also a good example of global hotkeys. You can see on my numpad, uh, no, I don't want to update them. Uh, if I do plus, it's a split. And if I do minus, it's a undo split. If I do multiply, it's a skip split. So there you go. And then uh, period is my reset button. Just so you can see that these these two timers are the same timer, so I'm not pulling any bullshit. Uh, that's also why I have the input display up, so that way you can see what the hell's happening. Uh, and also, so that way you can tell uh, that it's not edited, I'm going to do zero editing. So, uh, if I do new, skip training, and then Second skip the cutscene, you can see that it has started. Uh, if I then quit the game, new, skip training, and I don't press anything, you can see that it's paused. And if I then Second skip the cutscene, it unpauses. And if I go to this one, yeah, uh, upstairs is a loading zone that I'll show you, so that way you can see it in action. Uh, for reference, this is my movement, Attention, that's jump, personnel. that's crouch, mine these, will be what the fuck, minutes. backslash all apparently activates every fucking thing. <laughs> um, this is my mouse. I'm gonna just press every mouse button just so you can fucking see it. Uh, if I press V, that's quick save. If I press minus on my mouse, that's quick load. Just so you can see. In fact, if I spam quick load, you can see that it starts lagging the timer. <laughs> just another little bit of proof that it is, in fact, auto splitting and not being fucked with. <sighs> I am tired. I've been trying to record this so many ga goddamn times. <sighs> All right, and I'm not going to press anything but E, so that way you can see. Yeah, it's it auto splitted. I'm going to move on forward. <laughs> I don't think there's any loading zones near here for me to show. Uh, in fact, fuck it. I'm just gonna. I'll just find the nearest one. Attention, all personnel. Uh, that's the button. Jesus. I couldn't remember my crouch for a second. <laughs> I'm having a massive headache. There you go. That was a little bit of a better example since I could actually let go of keys. Uh, Need you. No. Yeah. Uh, quit. Yep. Yep. Okay. Now, uh, while the game is open and live split is open, 
You cannot make edits to live split. Is that Goof Troop? Or Duck? That's DuckTales. No, I'm just, sorry. Brain. Um, you cannot edit live split while both live split and the game are running. Nor can you edit it after you've closed the game but have not closed live split. The reason why is because it is. The game is still technically running because you're running live split as the game. That's the whole trick to this. So if I exit this, don't save splits. You can see it just ended. Live split has ended. Uh, so that's that's why. Now the way that I do this is in my game's properties in the launcher options I have wine DLL overrides equals and then I point it to a JSON file that's in the game's folder. You don't have to put it there. You can uh, you can uh, point to the path and then live split DLL overrides. This can be named whatever the hell as long as it's named appropriately here as well. Uh, it can literally be called Schmitty Werben Jaegerman Jensen and it'll work as long as this is also called Schmitty uh, Werben Jaegerman Jensen. <clears throat> and the way that this works is you are just telling it, uh, you're, you're putting in the JSON file every DLL file that is in this folder, and all, or not this folder, excuse me, wrong folder, uh, this folder, the live split one. So you can see codaxi.xleo.dll is right there. Uh, you don't have to put the DLL, uh, like the DLL extension, and you do not need the path. In fact, having either of those things causes it to not work. Um, so you just put the DLL name equals, so that way you can actually launch it. Native, so that way it tries that first, and then uh, have it try bind, uh, built in next. So n comma b, uh, and then to space out extra DLLs, you put semicolon space, and then the next DLL. Uh, and then for the final DLL, you don't put a semicolon or a space, as I just accidentally put a comma like an idiot. So there you go. Um, if you want an easy way to put the DLLs in here without having to manually put in every single one like I originally did, because I'm a dumbass, I will show you. Uh, if you just uh, don't put exe, don't put an exe, don't put an exe. Those should all be DLLs. Yes, okay, so if I copy, paste, and we do, this is on Sublime Text, by the way, if you want to figure out how to do this. Uh, first of all, they need to be on the same line, second of all, they cannot have the, the, the path, and third of all, they can't have the DLL. So, Control H to replace shit. I'll do this in order, uh, from like, most obvious to least obvious. So, you're just going to paste in your path, replace with nothing, so there you go. Uh, you can also highlight the part you want to replace, so that way it finds it like that. Uh, it doesn't really need backslash, but I have uh, reg, regex turned on so that it, it does find it. It's fine either way. Uh, replace with... Um, but you want to replace the dot dll one with equals n comma b semicolon space uh replace all okay so that way they have the space at the end and then finally you want to do backslash n with regex on if you don't have regex on this won't do anything uh backslash n just says find uh line breaks and then replace with nothing, replace all, and now they're on the same line. And then just remove the last semicolon in space, and then uh, put them all into a set of quotes, and you're good. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to save this file because I don't want to redo the entire goddamn thing. You do need to put in every DLL from every folder that's in Live Split, so the main folder, components folder, the uh, x64 of the components folder, the x86 of the components folder, the uh, runtimes one, like every every subfolder you have to go in and do that. Uh, but at least it's not as bad. Uh, resources doesn't have one. x64 does. x86 does because they're live split core. Uh, as a starting point, I could include 
the uh, JSON file for anybody who wants it. Just let me know and I'll send it to you. Uh, think, 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 brain. Oh yeah, and then also for each game that you add an auto splitter to, uh, now it adds things like live split dot red faction dot DLL, uh, specific thing, a specific DLL for the game, which is something that I, uh, like we didn't have that before. And that's new. Uh, so it's interesting. Um, and I'll show you how to set up auto split as well in case you don't know how to. Uh, first of all, make sure the game is not running when you do this, otherwise you can't make edits to live split. Uh, we'll put this in the same prefix, so dash dash app ID. That's Super Mario Odyssey. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> uh, dash dash app ID 2530. Uh, Sorry, I love the new Donk City stuff. Uh, blink. Okay. Edit splits. And uh, here, can we... Uh... Oh, that... Uh-oh, that froze it. Okay, do not resize the window, apparently. Unless you piss it off. Yes, I have indeed pissed it off. Okay, today I learned. Uh, I want you to die, thank you. Okay, so do not resize the fucking window. Good to know. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that before. Uh, so you can see here. Um, I have all my splits, as you can tell. Um, now, uh, up here, you should see auto splitting is available for, and then your game name, if you have the game up here set right. If I set this to Red Faction Mobile, clearly there's no fucking way to auto split on a mobile game. So there is no auto splitter available for this game, so make sure it's set to the exact game that you are running. Uh, and then over here, instead of saying deactivate, it'll say activate. Click that. And then settings for it. Uh, depending on the game, you'll have different settings. Uh, for me, this is what mine looks like for Red Faction. I have it set to auto start. And these are the auto splits that the... Uh, community's developer added uh so you can like tell it which ones you want to auto split at um make sure that the ones that you activate are the ones that you have in here so if there's 20 auto splits that you can see here like one through 19 and then a bomb uh make sure you then put 20 splits here as well uh set in the same <laughs> Scroll! Thank you. In the same way. <laughs> uh, and then uh, just click OK instead of cancel like I'm doing. Uh, and you're good to go. And then as long as you just uh, close this, run the game first. Let me make sure that yeah, it is in fact closed. Uh, run the game first. Uh, as long as any part of the game is running, it's fine. Like even the sp splash is, is fine to have up first and then run live split and you will have global hotkeys and you'll have uh, auto splitting uh, now go in here Oops. live split go away uh, and yeah so there you go um, now I have not tested this on Wayland I have only tested this on X because I am in fact an arch uh, user on Manjaro so Manjaro uses Xorg right now uh, for most of its flavors, if I recall. Uh, I could be wrong about that now, but when I first got it, it was it was all X. Um, if it does work on Wayland, feel free to let me know. Uh, but for now, the uh, prerequisites prerequisites, if I could speak, is Xorg, uh, Proton being set up in Steam, which is just Steam settings. Compatibility, turn all of this on, and you're good. Uh, sometimes Steam breaks when you open and close that for some reason, don't know why. Uh, and then uh, close and reopen Steam, and then right click your game, go to combat compatibility, and set uh, Proton version, whichever one you prefer. 
I prefer Glorious Egg Roll, it always works. Um, yeah, you need Proton. You need Proton Tricks as well in order to do this. Uh, I don't know how to do it with Base Wine. I'm sure it's not that hard, actually, uh, to do it with regular wine, but I, I don't know it yet. I'd have to figure it out. Um, if you want to easily update your Proton shit, Proton Up dash QT, that one's an optional one. Uh, is there anything not optional? I think brain. Uh, well, wine, obviously. You need base wine in order for Proton to actually do anything. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's about all I can think of. Wine-mono, wine-gecko, uh, wine tricks as well, because I think that's a dependency for proton tricks. Uh, and then you just do the proton tricks dash launch thing. So, uh, yeah, uh, have a good one. I've, I can't think of anything else to talk about, so bye.